Welcome ladies and gentlemen uh, to Warwick Sciences Film Practical Activities and in this particular one what we are going to be looking at is the, char the characteristics of solids, liquids and gases. Now everybody can identify what a solid, what a liquid and what a gas is before they come into uh, science. What we're here to do today with this project is to get you to, ident uh, to understand what are the characteristics of solids of liquids and of gases. Now what you'll need to do out of the Connect library is if you could download this particular worksheet please um, and as we go along through the prac we'll answer these questions here. You can put a tick or a cross um, there and then from that you can then fill out the, the table at the top. So you'll find that in the Connect Library section under the heading Solids, Liquids and Gases Worksheet. Okay, well, what solids, liquids and gases are we going to be using today? Well, our solid we're going to be looking at um, and using is ice, which is just uh, frozen water. Our liquid is going to be water, and this one here has been uh, just tinted with red food colouring and the gas is the gas that we use around us which is just basically air. So we're going to be using those to be able to see um, and identify the different characteristics. Now we're going to be looking at this prac in terms of three things and that is about the shape of solids, liquids and gases about the volume which is the amount of material there is and about the ability to be compressed which is basically to be made smaller now that is to be made smaller without being destroyed so yes you can make anything smaller by destroying it I, I can get chalk and um, smash it up but that's not what compressibility is about it's to make it smaller without being broken down okay so let's have a look at shape now I have a number of different containers up here. I'll just get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, um, here I have a beaker, a 500ml beaker. Um, have, well actually let's use a 100ml beaker. Uh, a conical flask uh, there and then I have a measuring cylinder. So Now the first one that, that we're going to have a look at is uh, of shape. So I've got um, a standard 100 or 250ml beaker here, um, a conical flask and a measuring cylinder okay now um, when we talk about shape we're asking does it actually keep its shape so does the shape change to the sort of container that it's in or does the shape always stay the same um, I can look at my solid here so I can place my solid into the first container and as you can see the shape doesn't tend to change very much um, I can then pour that into the next container and hopefully that will fit and again um, it, it continues to have the same shape and then I can transfer it to another container and it's probably not going to fit in this one um, no it's not oh there you go um, and again you can see there that we have the same shape at all times so we can see from there um, that what happens when, when we transfer a solid from container to container that it basically keeps its original shape. When obviously we look at liquids I can pour my, um, my liquid now into the beaker there and we're asking ourselves does it actually change its shape so I can go from there I can transfer this one across um, into into that particular container and then you can see that I can transfer it into the measuring cylinder and you'll notice that it actually does change its shape each and every time so what you can do is actually tick or cross um, the various questions you also saw there the, um, the ability to be able to pour so you can um, then answer that particular question as well now gas is a little bit obviously a little bit harder to see because um, air has no colour to it um, but obviously at the moment air is filling up all of those containers because air is classified as matter which means it has mass and it takes up space which means that it actually is taking the shape of that particular container. Now in terms of being able to be compressed if I just take these away and just wipe this down. Now here is our solid okay so um, again I can basically press down on that 
as hard as I can and you'll notice that it hasn't compressed at all it still stayed um, exactly the same in terms of being able to do it with a um, liquid we use a standard um, we use a standard syringe here this is a 50 mil syringe that's actually got quite a lot so what we do is we'll, is we'll put that there we'll draw we'll take all the air out and we'll draw liquid into it okay need to do it sort of a little bit better than that okay just remove any excess air out of it so we've only got water and now what I can do is I can put my finger over up, over it here and I actually can't push that at all um, down any smaller than it is now I can get rid of all of that and I'll probably just need to do a quick wipe because these are sort of a, a practical activity that's always quite messy okay so just just get rid of it now I'll do exactly the same only this time what I'll do is I'll just simply use air so I'll, I'll just draw air into it and I'll go all the way down to the 50 mil mark which as you can see um, is there and then what I'll do is I'll do exactly the same thing again so I'll hold it and I will try to squeeze it now you'll notice that straight away I can squeeze it to around about 25 mils so this should answer the question on whether air can be compressed obviously it gets to a point where it can no longer be compressed um, because there's no spaces left between um, but it does have the ability to be compressed now from from these activities and you might want to rewind them and um, and show them again what you will need to do is for this particular oh, how's that done for this particular worksheet here um, you can have a look at each of of the questions work out whether it is in fact um, a yes for a solid a yes a liquid and an, a yes for a gas or no and tick and cross those um, from that particular table then use that table there to be able to ask yourself what is the shape of a solid what is the shape of um, a liquid what is the shape of a gas so does it have a fixed shape or is it the shape of of the container the same with volume okay um, does it have a fixed or a set volume like a 600 mil um, coke for example has 600 milliliters um, or is it the volume of the container and then if the uh, if the solid liquid or gas can be compressed uh, once you've done that um, then obviously check in with your teacher to make sure that everything um, is okay um, and thank you very much for accessing the film practical on solids liquids and gases